see today i am going to discuss uh, a small uh, derivation that is speed of a transverse wave on a uniform string right see you take a string this is a string a string is a it is here d is the diameter l is the length of the string suppose the length is what very larger than the diameter then it is a string is if a length is larger than the diameter of the string we call chord a chord a string is a chord whose length is very large compared to its diameter and it is uniform so it is uniformly flexible right it should be a flex flexible one now you attach the string now you attach the string between two points suppose a and b right and i'll pluck it here just i'll pull it like this just i'll pluck it okay the center point if you pluck it at a center point it will be vibrating like this right when a string is stretched between two points and plucked in the direction perpendicular that is important right angle to this string this is called length what type of vibration you get this type of vibration is called transverse vibration transverse vibration is what what is called transverse remember t what do you call t wave is propagating its direction but particle is vibrating to and fro this vibration of the particle they are perpendicular therefore i remember like this transverse okay transverse wave you know what is longitudinal wave compression rarefaction compression rarefaction right see you see this video how it looks see the disturbance created by the vibrating object reaches our ear the sound propagates through air in the region of high pressure and low pressure the region of high pressure is experienced in places where the particles of the medium are very close to each other is known as compressions it is denoted by c the region of low pressure is experienced in places where the particles of medium are far apart from each other is known as rare factions it is denoted by r here the particles are vibrating along the direction of propagation of the disturbances this wave is known as longitudinal wave longitudinal wave is known as longitudinal wave longitudinal wave is a wave in which the particles of the medium vibrate in a direction parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave this creates compressions and rare factions alternatively in the medium now remember longitudinal wave is important longitudinal is what compression and rare faction compression and rare faction right distance between any two compression or distance between two rare faction is called wavelength but we are discussing here a transverse wave for the transverse wave and here see the speed of the transverse wave right the velocity of the transverse wave in the string or string or ear string is the medium depends upon its characteristic of the string what are the characteristics of a string normally you take a string okay it has a length l and it has a weight suppose say mass is mass of the string is equal to 10 g length is 5 meter therefore mass per unit length that is 10 g per 5 meter okay this is called denoted by m this is called mass per unit length mass per unit length this is also called linear density this is called linear density of the string this is one of the characteristics of the string that is 5 g is 2 g per meter but gram you know how to convert it to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg per meter 
this is called linear density now string under the tension is it not it is under the some tension right suppose this is what it is under the some tension therefore tension mass per unit length and even gravity all the things play a role here okay now therefore the speed of the now my aim is to calculate the speed what is the speed or velocity of the transfer wave see after going through this go through your teachers notes or the college notes and textbook read the textbook and uh, uh, correct it because you learn only 50% of whatever i teach you learn only 50% of what i teach now here right here consider a part of the string see this is a part of a string a b right traveling from left to right left to right with the velocity v now suppose a wave is traveling like this propagating and again it get it hit and get reflected right in pc you have studied now what is called stationary waves what are stationary waves standing waves you have studied right stationary wave therefore if the velocity is going the, the wave goes like this another this is uh, incident wave this is reflected wave both are having the same frequency all that characteristics you know therefore if it goes from left to right right to left what will happen it will set up a stationary wave type you know this therefore consider here see here your transfer wave travel along the string with a velocity it depends upon the constant of the string you know consider a part of this, part of the uh, part of the wave suppose i took a take say this is a wave i take a part ab part of the uh, wave ab traveling in the string from left to right with the velocity v if the string is pulled from suppose i pull i will send the wave from right to left with the same velocity the wave will remain stationary it will remain stationary like this stationary waves will remain stationary with respect to this this paper now consider to some point see this is a string consider as small segment that is say a uh, pq i'll take it that pq is a small part of the wave having a length uh, say uh, dx this is the length dx if you have, you know if you know m is what mass per unit length linear density and this part tension is acting here also tension is acting if t is the tension right what is the mass of this portion suppose mass of length pq is how much m into dx right m into dx linear density is what mass per unit length this is mass per this is 1 meter this is also 1 meter this is 1 meter 1 meter 1 2 3 4 suppose dx is 4 meter and this is mass this is m m m four times like this mass of this much portion is equal to m dx right see now this the tension is acting along this direction resolving the tension into two components one is t cos theta along this direction and t sin theta by 2 in the vertical downward direction similarly this t is what t cos theta by 2 along the horizontal direction this is t sin theta by 2 in the vertical direction actually the centripetal force the centripetal force is acting towards the center o it is provided by the tension acting on the string downwards right now both are op equal and opposite get cancel therefore the centripetal force is equal to 
टी साइन थीटा बाई टू प्लस टी साइन थीटा बाई टू टू टाइम्स सिंस थीटा इज स्मॉल थीटा बाई टू इज ऑल्सो स्मॉल दर फोर साइन थीटा बाई टू टेंस टू थीटा बाई टू दर फोर सी पी इज इक्वल टू टू टी थीटा बाई टू 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 गेट कैंसल दर फोर सी पी इज इक्वल टू टी थीटा बट सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्स सब्सिट्यूट इयर दट इज एम डी एक्स वी स्क्वायर बाय आर टी थीटा बट यू नो दिस फॉर्मूला राइट दिस इज डी एक्स दिस इज थीटा दिस इज आर यू नो एस इज इक्वल टू आर थीटा फॉर्मूला यू अप्लाई इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स यू गॉट डी एक्स इन प्लेस ऑफ आर आर This is theta. Therefore, dx I will substitute here. Therefore, m dx is equal to r theta v square by r is equal to t theta. Theta theta cancel. Most happiest moment is what in mathematics or physics cancelling here. You have done that. M v square is equal to t. Therefore, what v square is equal to T by m or v is equal to square root of t by m. This is all mathematics, right? The velocity of the wave along the string depends upon two factors. Therefore, velocity of the wave depends upon tension in the string as well as mass per unit length. That is linear density of the string, right? Now, in case Suppose you plug somewhere here, what will happen? You'll get. Suppose you plug some at one fourth of it, you'll get two waves, right? Or is two stationary waves? Depends on the position of where you plug or the tension. You'll get what number of stationary waves or number of loops? Suppose L is the length, right? This is one wave length, right? Therefore, lambda by two here. Lambda by two, lambda by two. This is lambda by two. Suppose how many loops are there? Four loops. Four lambda by two, right? If there are p p loops are there, there are p loops one, two, three, four, so on. Then what? P times lambda by two. Each loop length is what? Lambda by two is equal to L. Therefore what? Two L by p. Two L by p is equal to Lambda. Therefore, you know velocity is equal to frequency into wavelength. You know this. Therefore, what is velocity? You have just now derived velocity is equal to square root of t by m. T by m is equal to f lambda. Then what about this lambda? Lambda is equal to two l by p. F is equal to square root of t by m. Therefore, frequency. Frequency is equal to p by two l square root of t by m. Right. Therefore, frequency of the tuning. What is the frequency frequency of this loop? Each one. Suppose it is a fundamental mode. This is a fundamental mode. It is vibrating with hundred times per second. Hundred times per second. If you have two loops. What is the f one? F one is equal to two hundred cycle per second, or two hundred vibration per second, two times of the fundamental. Here, what will suppose one, two, three, four? That means each loop vibrate with what four hundred vibration per second. Therefore, here one, two, three, four. Here four is equal to four times f naught. Okay. In general, suppose if uh, where your p is what four. If it is vibrating with only single loop, p equal to one. Therefore, f is equal to one by two l square root of t by m. Can you follow? Therefore, you will get lot of problems on this. Probably they will ask you to what is it for five marks? They may ask you for this five marks or uh, 
four marks. Four, I don't think so four marks. Minimum they'll ask you for five marks. This question. Therefore, how they divide the mark is what? Here you are writing this diagram with the components. For this one mark they'll give. Then uh, you are writing this for this one mark. Centripetal force. And uh, finally, getting this expression, it's one mark already, one, two, three, four mark, and uh, discussion, discussions, one mark. Maximum five marks they can ask for you, right? Now, two, three times, go through this video, uh, read the textbook, uh, read the class teacher's notes, and write your own notes. Do without looking. Then only you get the perfect answer. If any mistakes, please send the suggestion. Thank you.